All who are thirsty, come to the waters, says the Lord. Though you have no money, come and drink with joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Today is the Tuesday of the fourth week of Lent, and the Mass is offered for Aileen McCann. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the venerable exercises of holy devotion shape the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, to welcome worthily the paschal mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me to the entrance of the temple, where a stream came out from under the temple threshold and flowed eastwards, since the temple faced east. The water flowed from under the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He took me out by the north gate and led me right round outside as far as the outer east gate, where the water flowed out on the right-hand side. The man went to the east, holding his measuring line, and measured off a thousand cubits. He then made me wade across the stream. The water reached my ankles. He measured off another thousand and made me wade across the stream again. The water reached my knees. He measured off another thousand and made me wade across again. The water reached my waist. He measured off another thousand. It was now a river which I could not cross. The stream had swollen and was now deep water, a river impossible to cross. He then said, do you see, son of man? He took me further then brought me back to the bank of the river. When I got back, there were many trees on each bank of the river. He said, this water flows east down to the Arabah and to the sea, and flowing into the sea, it makes its waters wholesome. Wherever the river flows, all living creatures teeming in it will live. Fish will be very plentiful, for wherever the water goes, it brings health and life teams wherever the river flows. Along the river on either bank will grow every kind of fruit tree with leaves that never wither and fruit that never fails. They will bear new fruit every month because this water comes from the sanctuary and their fruit will be good to eat 
and the leaves medicinal. The word of the Lord. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. God is for us a refuge and strength, a helper close at hand in time of distress. So we shall not fear though the earth should rock, though the mountains fall into the depths of the sea. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within, it cannot be shaken. God will help it at the dawning of the day. The Lord of hosts is with us, the God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come consider the works of the Lord, the redoubtable deeds he has done on the earth. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. A pure heart create for me, O God, and give me again the joy of your help. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a Jewish festival and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now at the sheep pool in Jerusalem there is a building called Bethsava in Hebrew consisting of five porticos and under these were crowds of sick people blind lame paralyzed one man there had an illness which had lasted 38 years and when Jesus saw him lying there and knew he had been in this condition for a long time he said do you want to be well again sir replied the sick man I have no one to put me into the pool where the water is dis when the water is disturbed. And while I am on the way, someone else gets there before me. Jesus said, get up, pick up your sleeping mat and walk. The man was cured at once and he picked up his mat and walked away. Now that day happened to be the Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who had been cured, it is the Sabbath. You are not allowed to carry your sleeping mat. He replied, but the man who cured me told me, pick up your mat and walk. They asked, who is the man who said to you, pick up your mat and walk? The man had no idea who it was, since Jesus had disappeared into the crowd that filled the place. After a while, Jesus met him in the temple and said, now you are well again, be sure not to sin any more or something worse may happen to you. The man went back and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had cured him. It was because he did things like this on the Sabbath that the Jews began to persecute Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. In that passage from Ezekiel in the Old Testament, we hear about the water that flows from the right side of the temple that becomes a great river impossible to cross, but a river of water that is wholesome and brings life. It brings life to the seas into which it flows and that it will be full of fish because it is life-giving. On the side of the banks of the river grow trees, fruit trees of every kind. It brings us in mind of the uh, original garden of Eden and in a sense this is the restoration now of the kingdom of God of how things were meant to be and this is a, a prophecy really of Jesus from whom uh, water blood and water will flow from his right side when he is pierced upon the cross but that life of course is there with Jesus wherever he goes he is the living water that um, brings us life and cleanses us and sustains us. This man who was waiting for the waters to be disturbed by a spirit and seeking a cure was cured immediately by Jesus, who of course is the source of healing, preeminent source of, of, of healing in the world. And so we see how he has come to heal and give life, to cleanse and restore. But then as with baptism, when we are given new life, we must remember that it is a call to live following Jesus. It's not a, a license just to do as we want. We are not 
uh, secure at that point. We have to live according to the gift we have been given. And so like the man, we must uh, seek not to turn away from God, but rather follow him more earnestly and with more love and devotion. And especially at this time in Lent, we have to revisit our baptism and our baptismal promises and seek to follow Jesus as a disciple that he loves. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer to you, O Lord, these gifts which you yourself have bestowed. May they attest to your care as creator for this, our mortal life, and affect us in the healing that brings us immortality. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves, and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. <clears throat> 
Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O oh God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Savers, saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. <clears throat> Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gift that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gift of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, almighty God, Command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. It was also your servants who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. <clears throat> At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me. Let us pray. Purify our minds, O Lord, we pray, and renew them with this heavenly sacrament, that we may find help for our bodies, now and likewise in times to come. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Grant, O merciful God, that your people may remain always devoted to you and may constantly receive from your kindness whatever is for their good. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord.